Hello there, my beautiful Aries friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Rhea, and I do these readings twice a week for your sign. Now, Aries, this is your mid-May prediction. What I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with an oracle card from the Guardian Angel Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card and then an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Aries, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this mid-May energy. So we are getting the next Next step. It's time for you to take the next step. Okay, so let's read the message on this card. Be patient as you release old energy from your energetic field. You're shifting gears to a higher plane and it brings fatigue, heaviness before the outdated vibrations are set free and dissolved. So let me repeat that to you one more time. Be patient as you release old energy from your energetic field, Aries. You're shifting gears to a higher plane and it brings fatigue and heaviness before the outdated vibrations are set free and dissolved. So look at that. You are moving on to that next step in your life. All right. So that is your opening card. I'm now going to pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through for you. All right, what is mid-May bringing in for Aries? We've got the Two of Cups. So we've got a union, a connection happening here over the next three to four weeks here. Aries, very powerful stuff that is going on here with this connection. So Two of Cups to start. We also have the Five of Wands. So perhaps there's some turbulent energy right now or coming up in a connection. There's some change coming in here with the five of wands as well. I feel that some of you are observers. You're kind of watching things happening, the turbulent energy. Remember that this is a temporary patch. This is going to pass. This too shall pass. Um, and what spirit guides want you to do at this time is to be mindful and aware of this energy that might be surrounding you. Now, what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my readings, Aries. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the Five of Wands, and we also have the Knight of Swords taking action. This is movement. This is having a plan, having a strategy, understanding what your goal is, and moving towards that goal, taking that next step towards that goal, okay? So the Knight of Swords here for you as well. All right, so before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Aries. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. All right, so we've got some intense, uh, intensity here coming in with the Five of Wands. I feel the number two and five. Some of you might be seeing these numbers. I don't know if any of you are born on the second or the fifth of the month, but I feel that Spirit Guides are giving timing of two to five days, two to five weeks, and two to five months, also two to five hours around something that is unfolding in your life here. So we've got a connection and perhaps there's some turbulent energy around a connection for you. This could be with a spouse, someone at work, maybe a friend or just some random person on the street, family related as well here. Something I feel has been set off and perhaps it's through someone talking, uh, like speaking or communicating something that has um, almost set this uh, energy off in your life. 
for some of you Aries. And I feel for others, there's this connection happening. There's a deeper bond. There's this loving energy here. So definitely there's something going on here in some of your love lives, some of your friendships, from some of your uh, family relationships. Um, so what spirit guides want you to know here is sometimes we go through this temporary patch of energy and all, all we need to do is just ground ourselves and breathe through it because it's a reactive energy, right? The reaction that we give can have a domino effect that can actually um, really go far out, okay? So um, spirit guides want you to, especially those of you that are reacting in a situation right now, watch that reaction. Um, and, th and sometimes that's hard to do in the moment, right? This is where you catch yourself and just take a moment to breathe through this and not to give a um, reckless, almost like a spontaneous or um, what is that called? A uh, really quick reaction to something because of your emotions. Um, emotions are high here, good emotions, all sorts of emotions here, Aries. And I do feel for some of you, this might feel like a roller coaster of a ride with your emotions. Um, Again, spirit guides are saying, you know what? This is a temporary patch of energy. Let's give ourselves some time to calm down. Let's calm this energy that's within us, ground our energy, and let's try to navigate through this with a clear head, okay? I'm getting this five of wands really prominent in some of your lives, like this things that are just happening that could be going wrong for some of you, little hiccups along the road. I don't think this is something big. Um, if it is, I feel that... Um, there's a big change um, that is going to come in with this connection here if this energy feels really intense. This is why it's really important that you keep your cool and your calm. And perhaps there's somebody in your life right now, Aries, that is going through this. And um, it's just, it feels like they're being pulled uh, from one end to another. I'm just getting this pulling energy. This could be for yourself or you're seeing someone that's going through this. Um, a connection that you have. And I feel there's importance in this connection because there's a lot of history backing it. For those of you that are going through that turbulent patch of energy, communication here is going to be very important for you to communicate and talk things through, to actually talk things through because I feel that there's some unsaid words, maybe words that don't ma match the action. So once we get some clarity through communication here, I feel that um, there's going to be a resolution around this situation. For those of you that are going through this, I feel for others, there's a connection that is going to happen, that there is a, a union. This could be a rekindling of a relationship. This could be a new relationship like a soulmate, soulmate energy that you are drawing in, Aries. So those of you that have been trying to manifest a partner, I do feel this connection is going to take place. I'm not saying that it's going to happen in the next two to three months, uh, three weeks, but I do feel two two to three months possibly. Um, I feel you're really trying here, Aries, to connect with something or to bring someone or something into your life. This could also be a connection to spirit. This could be a connection to your higher self. Whatever this is, there's an experience that you're meant to experience through this connection, okay? I do feel that sometimes people are meant to come into our lives for long term or temporary. There's reasons for that, something that you learn through that relationship, through that connection. So it's just, there's something beautiful happening here for you, Aries. For those of you, remember, we live in a world of polarity, everyone. So some of you might be feeling what I'm talking about and resonating with that. And others, you might be feeling something completely opposite or something in between. Okay, so this is a very changing energy. It brings in about chaos, turbulence, a little bit of shakiness, right? But also with this comes success through that change that you went through, Aries. And I feel that um, what's happening here is you're being built up through whatever it is that you're going through. So this challenge can show up and actually affect your relationship. Some of you might not even um, be feeling it within your relationship, or perhaps you and your husband, you and your wife, you and another person are dealing with this together as a couple or as just a connection together in a relationship, dealing with something, right? Which is affecting the both of you. Um, many ways, again, that these cards can come through in our lives. So you'll have to share with me here, Aries, how these cards are showing up in your life, how they're playing out. Um, 
I feel like some of you are spectators here. You're kind of in the background watching this happen. You're seeing this energy around you and you're choosing to not um, get caught up in it. You're kind of like, you know what? No, I'm good. I'm going to remain in my own energy and kind of tread down this path while this is happening because some of you know that this is a temporary patch, right? It's just an energy that you're flowing through. This too shall pass. Um, arguments around finances, arguments around maybe your job or feeling overwhelmed. Maybe one person isn't picking up their weight or pulling their weight in the relationship or in a job and you're feeling overwhelmed here. Or maybe there's someone else around you that's feeling this way. Um, but I am definitely picking up on, on some overwhelm. So again, through communication, sitting down and really understanding, okay, what can I do to help? How can we make this work for the both of us? How can we uh, figure this out together without our emotions um, getting the best of us here, right? Sometimes one of us have to communicate that with the other um, to actually bring yourself to a place where it's kind of like, you know, let's have a chat about this. Let's not let emotions get in the way and have a calm conversation where we can come to a resolution. I sometimes feel that I've done this in my own life where I haven't spoken up for myself if I'm feeling a certain way, which always backfired for me because then it would boil up. Everything would pile up within me and then I would say something and it'd create this ripple effect. So I feel someone out there that is watching today, maybe you're feeling like things are piling up and you're not sure when this energy is going to kind of blow up or you're seeing this around you. Um, really keeping yourself calm, practicing um, calming techniques, techniques to ground your energy, to really watch um, your emotions when you're reacting and giving any kind of impulsive reactions to someone. Just be mindful of this over the next little while here, the next couple of weeks in your life. This mid-May energy is very interesting for you right now, Aries. So just be mindful, stay grounded here. Um, you know, uh, I feel sometimes little things can be turned into big deals, right? So these are the kind of energies you want to watch. If there's something small happening uh, and someone's blowing up or even yourself, is it because there's a lot of other things that are kind of fueling that fire? All right. So just be mindful of your actions, but also be mindful of not reacting to things to get caught up in that energy of turbulence here. Um, you're gaining strength through this. So this is an opportunity for you to really wield your power of calm and patience. Okay. And really practice that right now because you're going to come out of this with flying colors. And I feel that you're going to gain another superpower or strengthen one that you already have. All right. So the five of wands here, just be mindful of this. I feel sometimes um, as couples, those of us that live together in one house, forget to, um, really check in with the other person to see how their do day was going. Maybe uh, there's one person talking too much about theirs and the other person is not feeling heard. Taking action, getting into motion, starting off with that communication. Your communication here, Aries, is going to be really powerful here. You're holding the sword. Remember, this sword can cut like a knife, right? That is a knife. It's going to cut like a knife. Um, but your words can hurt, but you are, your words can also be soothing here. So again, choosing your words wisely here. Um, if someone you feel you're being attacked by someone, communicate to them and let them know that can we have this conversation a little bit more in a calmer um, way, depending on the person. Sometimes that can set another person off too, right? So just being aware of how you can approach this. Ask your spirit guides to bring in that guidance to help you navigate your way through whatever is going on, especially if it's really hard for you to kind of um, work through this, or if you're having a really hard time being overwhelmed with the stress and the anxiety that comes with um, everything that is happening, especially with your communication here. Um, freedom, like you're being set free or you're wanting to be set free. This could be from a, in a relationship around a certain situation. Um, Whatever this is, I feel this could be, so the five of wands doesn't necessarily have to be something that is in our physical reality. This can be something internal that we're feeling. It's just a little bit of static, a little bit of, you know, fighting with, with ourselves, um, you know, maybe with our connection to spirit or our connection with someone else. I'm just getting this like boiling percolating and it's coming to the top energy. So we need to calm this down. We need to really 
practice calming this energy. Those of you that have calming techniques here, if you're willing to share them for everyone else, especially uh, because sometimes we don't we don't find very many. I feel like I find a few. Some work for me, some don't. So if there's any techniques any of you use that might be useful for us, I would love to hear about them. Share with us in the comment section below. So what's happening here is there's some fast movement coming in quick quick movement, quick energy. You might be feeling this coming in and you're wanting to take quick decisions or make quick decisions, jump onto things without thinking them through. Remember, we have this chaotic energy and sometimes we feel pressured that we have to do something quickly. So calm this energy down. We don't have to rush into anything. Uh, I'm feeling like someone's feeling pressured or pushed. Like you need to do this quickly. You need to figure this out because if you don't, it's not working. Like there's some sort of, um, I feel that there's almost like this consequence around something not happening quick enough. Maybe you've put that um, consequence within your own mind here, like you're kind of feeling or this is really interesting how some of the thoughts that are coming in, they're all over the place here. I don't know whose energy I'm picking up on here out there, but I'm getting all of these thoughts. They're kind of mangled, mixed up. Um, they're coming out on a sheet of paper. Maybe you're writing something down here, Aries. So clarity again through grounding and balancing your energy. So practicing meditation and really clearing your thoughts to open yourself up. So those of you that are writers, if you're feeling like you got a lot of muck, a lot of mangled energy with thoughts in your mind, these are the things that you want to take out of your mind, transfer that energy onto a sheet of paper so you can focus and think clearly. This is where all the information is going to come through for you. I really feel that spirit is trying to communicate with you at this time, Aries. And those of us that aren't seeing the communication, it might be because there's a lot of things in our mind that might not be leaving room for that connection to happen. So there is definitely a connection that wants to take place or is happening for you. Those of you that are feeling you have an idea or something that's come in that you want to do, but you're afraid to do it, put that fear aside and do it anyways, because you're being nudged. There's that nudge of you wanting to take that action, but it's almost like doubts and fears that hold you back. Okay, this is you setting yourself free, moving forward. There's some progress coming in. No matter what situation you are in right now, Aries, know that it's time for you to take action on some of the thoughts and the things that are coming into your mind that are giving you that nudge to move forward. Um, this sense of freedom, freedom from this energy of chaos, freedom from uh, a relationship, perhaps there needs to be a little bit of space. I feel some of you need space or room and you're meant to actually create that space or room right now in your life. However, that is showing up for you. I'm seeing a lot of growth here with this because it's forward movement moving. I'm seeing you moving upward, but I also feel that you're doing a really good job right now, Aries. No matter what it is that you're going through, know that you're exactly where you need to be and you're doing a really good job. OK, they're wanting me to really um, kind of let that sink into your mind that you're actually doing a really good job in your life and not to let the worries, all the things that you're thinking that are making you feel this like weight or pressure. Just know that you're doing really good. Let that pressure go. Take things one at a time. There's no need to rush into anything. No rush. Just slow down just a little bit here. Um, I just feel some of you need to slow down. This is what spirit guides are saying here. Um, this card is a card of victory. This person is uh, planning to win here. So they have a plan, a game plan. This is where spirit guides want you to uh, plan it out this month. Plan it out over the next week, two weeks. Plan your days here. Plan your weeks, Aries, because I feel if you have a goal, daily, weekly, monthly goal, you're going to crush them. Okay. But you need clarity on that for those of you that are feeling confused or not sure what to do. So strategizing and planning is going to be your superpower this month of May. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. It comes with an Oracle message and a protection message. I'm going to read them both to you today. So those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. Anything more that Spirit wants to share with you is also going to come through this card. So we are getting Seahorse Spirit. 
watch and wait. Look at that Aries, watch and wait here everyone. So I don't know if any of you have seen a seahorse anywhere in your life. This is your confirmation today. If you haven't, you're seeing one now on your screen. We have the number 53 on this card. Uh, so we got the number five here twice for you. The number three, 53, uh, communication. Okay, number three is tied to communication, self-expression. Uh, very important through some of the changes and challenges that you are going through Aries. So let's open up this reading and um, open up this uh, interpretation here. Those of you looking for timing, five to three days, five to three weeks, and five to three months. So the oracle message here is hovering gracefully. The seahorse observes, observes with the perspective of one who is not engulfed by the drama, remaining at a distance from all the turbulence. Seahorse spirit appears at this time to remind you of the need to be neutral and gain perspective. Your message from seahorse spirit is not my circus, not my monkeys. Spirit wants you to know that even if you are tempted to jump into the fray and try to fix things, the best way to serve yourself and others right now is to remain calm and simply watch and see. Look at that. What a perfect message for your spread today. So another message here is that whatever your query, Seahorse Spirit asks you to step back from it. Be willing to explore things from different angles rather than a single one. And just observe what is possible. From the perspective of the, of the position of the neutral observer, you will discover a myriad of opportunities and a deeper understanding of what you seek and why. And you will know beauty, truth, love, and wisdom. So the protection message here for you today is, are you holding on to judgment, sure that your perspective is the only correct way to look at things? There are as many perspectives as there are creatures in the sea and the when, and when seahorse appears, you are reminded to detach from the experience so you can view it from more than one angle. Pay attention to your hidden beliefs and how they affect the way you think, feel, and act. Are you being fair to all involved or, you de or do you need to take a step back? Perhaps the drama you have been drawn into is your own Aries. Whatever the actions of others, your challenge is to be non-reactive and to take their word and not to take their words or behaviors personally. Their turbulence may have a little have little to do with you, so remain neutral until you know more. Your perspective may be quite different in time. So look at that. Embrace seahorse spirit, everyone. I feel this was the perfect bonus card for you today. So let's pull an angel number. Those of you that are seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So change of plans. Expect a change of plans here, Aries. We've got the number 4848 on this card. Those of you that are seeing these numbers, this is a confirmation. Those of you looking for timing, four to eight days, four to eight weeks, and four to eight months. So the message here is you're being guided on a new path. You may be experiencing a career change, some sort of a shift in your professional life here, Aries. You are manifesting. There's prosperity tied to things right now, and you're going to experience things working out well. Okay, so change of plan. Some of you might be seeing the colors in this card in your life as well. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.